Welcome to this product demonstration and termination procedure for terminating corning style connectors onto SSF fiber. Um, SSF fiber, as you know, has a 250 micron total fiber size. And after you pull off the uh, buffer, it's actually only about 125 micron. So the corning connectors are meant for 900 micron type buffered fiber. So they won't work together unless you do some special operations. So I want to show you some techniques that you can use to put corning connectors on SSF fiber. Uh, one of those is to purchase a fan out kit. A fan out kit is a simple device. It has a bunch of little tubes where you feed your 250 micron fiber into those tubes and you basically create a 900 micron fiber out of it. These fan out kits come in four, six, and 12 fiber versions, and they kind of fit like a glove over the distribution style SSF fiber and bulk it up to the 900 micron where then you can terminate it. There's also a fan out kit, basically a breakout kit. It does the three millimeter jacket instead, and that's one for going breakout fiber. But the fan out ones that we have for the 900 micron, these are the ones that are most commonly used. Now, another way of doing this is to actually place what they call furcation tubing over the fiber and bulk it up to 900 microns on each single fiber. So in this case, I have a single fiber cable. And I'm going to go ahead and follow the process for corning on this. What I'll do is I'll mark, a, first I'll take my boot for the connector. So I've got the three millimeter boot, slide it up the cable. Then I'm going to mark the cable at 40 millimeters and 53 millimeters. And I'll follow my standard corning termination preparation process. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, first 40 millimeter mark, separate the fiber from the strength members, pull that strength members off to one side and cut them off, which is different than you do with the uh, other connector. So I've cut my strength members off. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the jacket again at that 13 millimeter remaining mark and use the little copper tube, the little copper uh, crimp tube to push the strength members aside and lock them out of place. So now that basically looks like your standard corning cable can uh, all prepped and ready to go except for that fiber is very small. It's less than 900 micron. So I need to bulk this up now. So in this case, I'll take a piece of furcation tubing, which is 900 micron, and I want to put it over this blue. I only need actually 11 millimeters to be showing for the connector to be able to grip onto. I'm going to do a little bit longer than that because I'm going to tuck it under the jacket to actually give it a little stability. So I'm going to go ahead and you know, basically estimate out about probably a little over an inch of furcation tubing. I'm going to use the tri-hole strip tool, use the center contact to cut it off nice and square. And then I'll feed this over the 250 micron fiber. Um, this does take some good vision or possibly a uh, magnifying glass. So you slide this over the 250 micron fiber and bottom it out there. You can actually slide it in the jacket a little bit. And what you want to do is measure, you want only 11 millimeters of that protruding. So I'm going to go ahead and measure 11 millimeters and position it. All right. Now I'm going to hold this very firmly and I'm going to strip off the blue soft peel coating with my fingernails. You do not want to use tools for this. You want to use only fingernails. Now the benefit here is with SSF fiber, I do not have to clean this. So now it's ready for cleaving. The cleave tool, I have two sides. I have a 900 micron and I have a jacketed version. Because I'm doing a jacketed fiber, I want to switch it over to jacketed version. I'm going to press both buttons to open the tool, feed my fiber into the groove and slide it forward until it bottoms out. Once it bottoms out, I release the two buttons. You should see the fiber protruding over here. I press the red button and release real quick. That takes any tension out of the fiber. I press very firmly because SSF fiber does have that coating on it. And then I press the black button and pull the fiber out. And there's my cleaved fiber at the eight and a half millimeters needed for corning connectors. Prepare my connector the same way you do with regular tight buffered fiber. I take the connector, remove the rear dust boot, the front dust boot, being careful not to touch the end face. I'll turn the tool on, lift the load bar out of the way, 
position the connector so the feed tube extends out the back. Drop my VFL, close it. Don't have a yellow light, that means I'm good. So now my tool is ready for termination. So I'm ready for the termination process with the tool. I'm going to take my fiber, put the cleaved fiber into the lead-in tube, seat it all the way, and then I'll press my cam button and I get a green light. Now at this point, I can go ahead and crimp it. So I turn it, it's crimped, lift it up, remove my connector and then follow the standard termination process. I'm going to go ahead and pull my copper ring back, let the strength members spring forward, seat them all the way, crimp them in place, copper crimp tube all the way forward, crimped in place, go ahead and crimp it, fibers crimped, then I slide my boot up, seat it, I want to have the little UC on the boot and the uh, letters on the connector all matching each other. Put my dust cap back on. Last step is the shroud. And the connector is terminated.